What, what NAPLAN looks for is for um, young people's um, achievements in literacy and numeracy, um, in particular looking at, uh, at grammar and spelling, and uh, matches it up against national standards. So parents are really fortunate that they get a, a report from this and it shows them where their child is tracking um, against where, where we expect that they might be. It is a very valuable way of understanding how our children are going uh, in comparison to other children and whether they need some help in a particular area or not. For the school it's also important in the fact that it gives the school a picture of, of where there may be some need for, for professional learning or additional resources to be placed. And for your own child, if there are some challenges that are, that are, that are appearing in these results, then um, as additional resources and support for you to give them at home can be articulated and, and the child can continue along their achievements. We use the data from NAPLAN in, in different ways depending on our children, depending on how old they are or how, you know, how they've gone in the test. So we use it in similar and different ways depending on the child. But what we do do is praise our kids, you know, irrespective of the results of NAPLAN, for doing a good job, that we tell them that we value them for who they are, not what, you know, what they do. But NAPLAN for us has been a really important tool to start a conversation um, with our children, particularly the older ones, but more importantly with their classroom teacher. So we've used the data as a, a conversation starter, if you like, to work out, well, how, where are the kids um, in terms of their learning? How are they doing? But perhaps more importantly, where to from here? How can we work with you know, our child and the classroom teacher to actually make sure our kids achieve what they're really capable of? Well, we were able to have a, a talk with our, a conversation with our, our granddaughter about how she performed on the NAPLAN test to ask if she was comfortable that that really reflected how she was, uh, how she feels she's sitting in the scheme of things. Um, and also, once again, it was an opportunity for us to have a talk to her teacher to see whether we were on the right mark as to where we thought she was at the moment. When my daughter's report came home, the, the first thing I looked at were, was how she was going across the different areas that were tested. Uh, and I found that was really important because it showed me that she was doing better in some areas than others. Then I looked at the uh, other information on the report to see how she was comparing with other students uh, of her age, both within her class and, and nationally. I also uh, had a close look at the uh, last page in the report that told me about the sorts of things she'd been tested on and the sorts of things she was expected to know and be able to do. This is part of an ongoing school program. It's another learning opportunity, actually, for young people to engage with, with in, this, in this formal assessment, along with all the other learning opportunities that they have at school. And mums and dads sitting with their sons and daughters can make them much more rich, rewarding, positive experiences. NAPLAN's one in that list.